All right. So the question is, how do I apply for grants? Applying for grants uh, is kind of the, is part of the same process as uh, selling to the government, getting registered to sell to the government, and that's getting set up in SAM. Uh, if you want to get set up in SAM, the first thing you're going to have to do is make sure you have either a 501c3, a nonprofit registered with the state, or a for-profit registered with the state. And in some states, you can register a for-profit and a 501c3 and operate them in conjunction and actually get some tax breaks. Um, the process is, uh, first of all, you got to get registered with the state. So depending on what state you're in, uh, like the state of Florida, for example, has a service called SunBiz. And SunBiz is where you would go to register with the state of Florida to get a uh, DBA or LLC or S Corp or something to that effect. Uh, if you're just setting up a DBA, a lot of times those can be set up within a couple of days. And if you're setting up an LLC or an S Corp, usually takes a couple of weeks to process those. Uh, DBAs usually only cost with the state 30, 40, 50 bucks versus an LLC. If you uh, pay an attorney or something like that, you're going to pay a couple of grand. Or if you go to a service um, uh, where they have, um, what's it called, LegalZoom or something like that, I think you can set up an LLC on LegalZoom for a couple hundred dollars. Um, once you're registered with the state and you have a DBA or an LLC or an S Corp, um, well, let me cover the, the difference. LLCs, uh, are, 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 there's more liability on an LLC. If you do something wrong and you get sued and whoever sues you wins, they not only sue your business, but they sue you personally. So they could take your home, uh, condo, 401k, they could, they could take personal assets from you. Um, if you register as an LLC or an S Corp, those are limited liability. Those prevent you being sued personally. That way only your business can be sued. Just to put it in a nutshell. Uh, DBA, you would be working under your Social Security number. So with a DBA, you're actually giving your Social Security number to the state. And some states actually make your Social Security number public information uh, online. I, I don't know any of them that do that anymore. I know Florida used to do that, uh, and, and your social was actually public information, but I, I, I'm pretty sure Florida doesn't do that anymore, and, I, and I'm not sure if any of the state. I would check if you're going to do a DBA and make sure the state doesn't post your DUNS number as public information. Uh, once you have, excuse me, your social, once you're registered with the state and you have a DBA or an S Corp or an LLC or something to that effect, you're going to need to go to Dun & Bradstreet to get a DUNS number. You can go to dnb.com. When it loads, there you go. Uh, Dunn's number right here. Get a Dunn's number, or you can call the phone number and contact them and tell them you want to get a Dunn's number. Dunn & Bradstreet is not a government agency. They're a private third party. Uh, they've been around for a long time. They have an agreement with the government that they will give you a DUNS number for free. In exchange, they have the right to sell you their credit monitoring services. Unless you're a uh, you know, successful business, unless you're doing a lot of work, you don't need your business credit monitored until you're, you're actually you know, doing a lot of jobs, to, until, you're, until you're busy. Um, the best thing about that is that when you contact them to get a DUNS number, okay, if you just tell them you're broke. Tell them you don't have any money. That's why you're registering because you gotta you want to apply for a grant or do a small contract. If they don't think they can sell you anything, they'll get you off the phone quickly. And I've seen people get a Dun & Bradstreet number same day when they go that route. Versus if you buy the services, it can take them weeks to get your Dun's number set up. I, I don't know why, but anyway, uh, once you have your Dun & Bradstreet number set up, then you need to go to sam.gov and register with SAM.gov to apply for government assistance or government grants. You do not need to register in SAM and do all your reps and certs. That's if you had a product or service you wanted to sell to the government, then you need the reps and certs. Uh, if you're just applying for a grant, you don't need the reps and certs for the FAR and DFAR provisions, uh, ORCA, representations and certifications. It's all the same thing. Uh, that'll save you a lot of time and aggravation if you're only applying for grants. If you want to apply for grants and sell products and services to the government, then you do need the reps and certs. Uh, once you're registered in SAM and you have your CAGE code active, 
you're going to need your gauge code and your MPIN and your DUNS number to actually apply for the grants. Now you can apply or write for the grant at grants.gov, but I strongly suggest if this is something you're serious about and you, you want to actually win a grant, uh, I would purchase a program like Grant Seeker Pro. Grant Seeker Pro, I think they own all the domains. That's their website. Uh, they have programs for like sixty, seventy, eighty dollars, where you can utilize their software to apply for grants. Uh, it's kind of basically plug and play. They send you the software, or you can download it. You plug in all your information, and Grant Seeker Pro will tell you what grants you're most likely to succeed with, which ones you qualify for. It'll help you write your business plan, and it'll actually physically help you write for that grant. It'll it'll help you actually you know, put together their proposal or, or write for the grant. Uh, it's a very inexpensive program, so that's hundred dollars, and you can write it off as a tax deduction. And I've had a lot of people that you use Grant Seeker Pro that that have actually won grants, so I know it works. Uh, any other questions? Any other thing I can do for you? If you don't want to process all that stuff on your own and you want us to do it for you, we can do it for you for a fee. Just let me know. We'll get your cage code and your M pen and all that stuff. Uh, if you want to sell to the government or you want to learn more about uh, applying for grants or selling a product or service to the government, let me know. 727-800-3012 is my direct dial number. 727-800-3012. Thanks. Bye.